I am here with my Friday favorites. I have quite a few stuff uh, that I'm really excited about. And none, none of them, a couple of them, maybe a few are from um, my New York IMATS extravaganza shopping spree palooza. That's what I'm gonna call it now. So, uh, only a few things though. And I have kind of a nice range here. So I hope you guys all had an awesome week. I had a great week, it was long, it was exhausting. Um, flying back from the East Coast to the West Coast and three hour time change. And the day that we left, well the next morning, Ethan started waking up at six or 6.30 in the morning, which usually he sleeps till 7.30. So I thought, oh, well it's just cause we're gone and that's why he's waking up early. No, we've been back and he's waking up at, uh, you know, six o'clock in the morning. So I am super, super tired this week, excited for the weekend. And I'm actually, it is Friday today. I was gonna film this Thursday, which is what I usually do. Uh, but I hurried and got ready so that I could film this Then I gotta go to the gym. But um, it's 8.42 in the morning and I've been up since six. So anyways, I'm gonna get to it and show you what some of the stuff I've been loving this Start weekend. with some hair care stuff. The first, I don't think I've shown this yet. The Batiste Dry Shampoo, a hint of color for medium brunette. This is a obviously a dry shampoo. I really like this. It has a like cologne smell, like cologne, cologne smell. Smells like cologne, but I think it smells really good. It doesn't give me as much as a white cast as some of my other dry shampoos do, which is why I really like it. Um, it smells good, just sprayed in the roots. Um, I washed my hair last night and I used it today. And I have some big hair going on today. Um, I feel like I need to be in like Texas or something. Anyways, I really like this. I feel like it does like absorb or soak up any excess oil and uh, it doesn't give me like a huge crazy white cast like some of my other ones do. So I got this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. Whoop! I always love that. Whenever I go to TJ Maxx, if I see any of the Batista shampoo, I like hoard it all into my cart. So I have like seven of those on backup. A little excessive, I know. The next hair care product is, I bought this a while ago and I had never used it, and I kind of started recycling, not recycling, cycling through some of my products. And uh, it's the Bamboo Volume Uplifting Root Blast, and this is for your hair when it's dry. Come on, is it gonna focus? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, okay. Um, this is what it looks like, it has a nozzle like this. Basically, you spray it in your dry hair. So. Um, it's really great if you have really like limp hair or flat hair. I hate that word limp too, it's weird. Anyways, um, flat hair, if you don't have any body or volume or if you like wash your hair the night before and your hair doesn't have as much volume as it does when you like blow dry it, you just take a little couple squirts of this in your roots and then like massage it in and it does give you some good volume. So it is a bit expensive. I paid $26.40 for it at a local hair salon. I'm sure you can find it off like Amazon for cheaper, but. Yeah, it's the Uplifting Root Blast. I also really love their Root Lifter. It's more of a liquidy one that you spray on wet hair. I love that one. All right, two lotions. So if you saw my haul from New York, I'll post that down below. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I purchased like the most amazing foot cream ever. It's called the Fair Trade Foot Lotion. I love that. It smells like peppermint chocolate deliciousness. Well, I love it so much that I'm like, okay, I have to like set it aside and use up some of my other foot creams that I have before I use like my expensive nice one. So I was going through my cabinets and I found that I had this. I got this from my mother-in-law for Christmas and I just never opened it. It's the Avon Footworks Beautiful Pomegranate Chocolate Moisturizing Foot Cream. Okay, I posted on Instagram a while ago these um, dark chocolate pomegranate, or dark chocolate covered pomegranates that I got at the grocery store. This smells just like that, like how those taste, this smells like. It smells like straight up pomegranates and chocolate. I don't know if this was limited edition for Christmas. I have no clue, but this stuff smells, there we go. This stuff smells so incredibly, amazingly delicious. Like I just feel like I'm like indulging my feet in chocolate covered pomegranates. It's really, really good. Love that. Uh, this is a, another TJ Maxx find. I find like the best stuff at TJ Maxx. Uh, I'm so thankful that we have a TJ Maxx that's actually like pretty good. This is the Argon Magic Emulsifying Hand Cream. Goes on lightly, absorbs quickly, promotes barrier protection, helps minimize moisture loss, and use on cuticles. And it is a hand cream. 
and it is amazing. If you use too much, it will be greasy. But if you just use like a little pea size amount on your hands, it is extremely moisturizing. Your hands just feel so soft and like amazing. Also great for your feet if you like have really dry feet. Um, so I've been using these two every night. So like right before I get into bed, I'll put on my little foot cream, I'll put on my little hand cream. And I've noticed like a huge difference in like my cuticles, like they're not nearly as dry and cracky as usual. My hands are super soft. Uh, I feel when you put this on, like your hand looks like you like lost 10 years on your age. So I feel like I have 16 year old hands, which is really nice. I really like this. So I got it for $5.99, it's usually 12 bucks. The brand is Moroccan Beauty Secrets. So I love that it's a huge thing and you need like a tiny, tiny amount. So this will last a really, really long time. And um, I don't think, I don't see that has any parabens or anything in it either. So super good, love that. Okay, now to some makeup favorites. Uh, this one I showed in a haul too. This is the Chanel Vita Lume. Is it Vita Lume or Vita Lumiere? Vita Lumiere. Uh, aqua foundation. I also just filmed a first impressions on it. It's in my weekly favorites because today is still the week. I have it on today. I just filmed um, a demo first impression. So I'm going to be a, doing a throughout the day with this. So far with it on my face, I am loving it. Amazing. It looks like, okay, I don't want to talk too much about it because I have a review coming up. Anyways, I just love it and you'll hear why I love it in that video. So Mine is in the color 30 beige. Next thing I've been loving for, well, let's see. I'm just gonna hop around. Um, let me know if you like my brows today. I am digging, digging my eyebrows today. I kind of am playing with them a little bit and like really working on this arch thing that my brow gal gave me. Uh, really, really am excited about my brows. So this is how I, not how I did it. If you want a tutorial of how I do my brows like this, let me know because I will do one. Never thought I would ever be able to do a brow tutorial because I always thought my brows were like <sighs> just tragic. So these are the two products I've been using. I know I've mentioned both of them before, but it's the first time I've done the combo of the two. This is my Anastasia Brow Powder in Brunette. As you can see, I hit pan on that taupey color. So I take that light taupey color on the inner part of my brow, like right in here. I just take well, I'll do a, a video if you want to see it. That goes on the inner part, and then I mix the two and go through the rest of my brow, take the darkest color towards the tip of my brow. But my brows are crazy, so the, the hairs are going every which way. I mean, it's just nuts. So sometimes I'll use like a, a clear mascara, but this week I've been topping it with the Tarte Emphasize Waterproof um, Brown Mousse, and this one is in medium brown. And I just run this, um, focus? I just run this over my brows after I do the powder and it like keeps them in place. They don't get crispy. They're just like those perfect, like when you look on Instagram and these amazing makeup artists have these gorgeous eye looks with these like perfect brows and they're all groomed. All the hairs are going in the right direction. Like this makes my eyebrows do that. So um, really, really liking how they've turned out. Um, another product that I've had for a long time and I kind of like go in and out of using, I just kind of sometimes use it just for the sake of using it up but this week I've really been noticing a difference because I've been loving how my eyebrows look I've been loving using this and it's Benefit Highbrow and basically it's just a pinky toned if you can see there pinky toned um, pencil but this is really great for cleaning up your eyebrow oh this is really great for cleaning up your eyebrows so if you have like a little bit of like powder or just not quite as crisp as you like. This is really nice for just going along this under area and then blend it down a little bit and it provides a nice highlight base and it really just makes those eyebrows crisp. So I really like this. And um, yeah, really like that. Okay, so for eyeshadow, what I'm wearing on my eyes today is I pulled out my extra dimension eyeshadows that I bought whenever that collection came out forever ago. And I pulled them out again because I was depotting a ton of stuff and I came across these. So what I have on the inner half of my lid is this really pretty color called Sweet Heat. And it's just a shimmery, sorry, I always use my middle finger. It's a shimmery champagne color. Nothing super unique about the actual color. It's like a peachy champagne, but 
I just love the like metallicness of it. Um, and then I just have wedge and a little bit of texture and saddle in the crease. And then I'm also wearing Stolen Moment, which looks like this. And here's a swatch of it. It's a little bit more of a taupey color. It's kind of a little bit more of a purple taupe. And I have that on the outer corner. And then I just used a little bit of like a matte brown and a matte black mixed in that outer V. But I really like these. Uh, I know that the Extra Dimension collection just came out for MAC with a bunch of other shades. Um, but they're just really nice. They're super metallic. Really pretty. I think they're going to be great for this, uh, the summertime. Even though like some of them may be a bronzy shade. Just the like metallic eye I think is really, really cool. So I've been loving that. Uh, for like a bronzer contour this week, I pulled out my Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep, which looks like this. Oops, looks like this. It's just a really nice um, powder. I love their Mineralized Skin Finishes a lot, so they just blend really nicely. So it's a really nice contour. It's super natural looking. It's not like too orange, too gray tone, too cool toned. It's just, I mean, it's meant for a face powder for somebody's like actual face who it would wear medium deep powder. So it just looks really nice. I like it, I'm wearing it today. Um, got a little tan going on here. So yeah, I like it a lot. I've been pulling that out for my like bronzer for the next couple weeks. Uh, another thing I've been loving, mascara. This mascara is the Falsies Flared and I love it paired with my Dior Show Maximizer Lash Priming Serum. Really nice, it's what I'm wearing today. I feel like my lashes look really long, they look thick. Um, if I'm feeling real crazy and I wanna add another mascara, I've been adding the Carbon Black Voluminous with the falsies, I like that. Pulled out my Dior Show again this week and I just really like it. Um, haven't shown it some love in a while and I need to start using my primer, lash primers again because I really do notice a huge difference on the length, volume, longevity of my mascara and my lashes when I do that. And then, uh, this I mentioned in my, oh, trash is here. Um, this I mentioned in my haul too is this brush that I got. It's the, is it Bedellum Tools or just Dellum Tools or B Dellum? I'm not too sure, but this is the 990 brush. It's a big, like, paddle angled brush, and I love it with my hourglass powder. This one is in dim, and I just kind of put it in there. I get it on both sides, and then I just go whoop. And I go whoop, and then you know dip it back in, and it like applies the perfect amount. It makes it so flawless. This brush is so soft. Like I would just rub this all over my face all day long. Really nice brush, and it just is so nice. And I like that's a little bit flatter, so it's not a big fluffy brush. It's not like a big kabuki brush. It's just like it kind of reminds me of like a bigger version of the brush you can get with this. But I find the brush that you could buy for this powder specifically is super scratchy. I'm sorry if you hear the garbage truck. It's super scratchy. It's not super soft and like um, soft. It's just kind of like scratchy. And it I feel like it would tear up the powder because this powder is so fragile. I mean, people have theirs cracking or breaking off in pieces. Mine hasn't done that at all, but um, it's such a like delicate powder that you want something soft. And I just find that this works amazing with it. So I really like that. So my blush favorite, I wore this like almost all, well, ever since I got it, I've worn it almost every day. It's the Katie blush from Ilmasca. Again, it was in my haul. Just a perfect baby soft pink. Um, I was talking with my friend Melissa or Mel MPHS and she was asking me, well, how does it compare to this? How does it compare to that? It's nothing like um, Gaiety from NARS and it's nothing like, what was the other one? Oh, it's nothing like Well Dressed. Well Dressed is much, uh, Well Dressed has a lot less pigment than this. This is much more pigmented. This is much more of a true pale bubblegum baby pink. Um, and Gaiety is a lot darker and brighter. So I don't think they're, those are anything like this. This is just like a very unique blush. It's gorgeous. I'm wearing it today. It's a nice bubblegum color and I really, really like it. Um, for my lips today, I'm wearing Hip and Happy Lip Liner. I love it because it's a little bit of like a lavendery baby pink color. It's right here. And I have it topped over the new lipstick from MAC in Raspberry Swirl from their bakery collection. I mean, it's so pretty. 
It's a really pretty soft pink. I just really like it. Kind of a little bit reminds me of um, the Lady Gaga a tiny bit, but not as bright as Lady Gaga, but I really, really love the color. For my highlight, I'm using the Pink Buttercream Face Pearl. I'm gonna do a haul of all this stuff that I got because um, I think swatches would be super helpful. And then, oh, okay, so then what I wore to eye mats, which I got a ton of questions on. Every picture I post, everyone's like, what's on your lips, what's on your lips? So I had to keep reposting it because I should just put it in the, the description, but I did. Um, it's the Heroin Lip Liner in Heroin? MAC Lip Liner in Heroin, and uh, right there. It's a really pretty purple. And then I had it topped with Embrace Me. And I was really bummed that I didn't get the heroin lipstick, but they were sold out everywhere. I do have Violetta, which I've been told is the same, just a different finish, so I, I can be happy with that. But, and that's the Embrace Me lipstick. So I would do, um, line my whole lips with heroin, which gave a nice purpley base, but then I topped it with this bright hot pink, and it gave it this really fun, like, purpley pink look, and I just really liked it. I've been I usually do like really matchy matchy with my lipstick and lip liners. I could try to find something so close, but now I've been really experimenting doing like purple lip liners with pink lipsticks or like coral lip liners with pink lips. I don't know, just switching around. It's probably nothing like exciting or new because most people are probably like, duh, that's what you're supposed to do. But I never have, so I'm really excited. And then um, the last thing I've been loving is when I went to LA back in March for my birthday, I went to a store called Namie's and if you live in the LA area, look it up, it's awesome. Anyways, they had these palettes and my friend Trisha was telling me about them and she had one for her purse and she's like, oh, I wanna go get the big one so I can depot a bunch of lipsticks. So this is what I was doing yesterday, is I depotted a ton of lipsticks. I posted a picture on my Instagram. It's like, I would do a video, but there's, there's 100 videos out there and it's really very simple. All you do is take your lipstick, roll it up, chop a little piece off with like a knife, um, I just used a butter knife, put it on a spoon, hold it over a candle, which it will melt it, and then you just pour it into whatever container you want. That's literally all you have to do. And um, so I put like some colors that I would wear a lot, and then what I also did is I went through and deposited a bunch of other lipsticks, like maybe some brighter colors, or just, I don't know, I was just kind of picking and choosing random ones. And I have them in this palette so that I can just switch them out. So if I wanna take a color out of here, I just kind of switch them around. So it's really nice. It's a great way to not have like 1500 lipsticks in your purse, which is what happens to me. And I did it with some of the brighter colors uh, because a lot of those, you kind of want a lip brush to apply them because it could get a little crazy if you don't, especially since those deeper colors tend to stain a little bit more. Uh, this does come with a nice little lip brush, so, and a mirror. So these are Makeup Forever for anyone who, anyone who cares or wonders. Um, but yeah, I think that is all for my favorites. Um, I will do my one bust of this week is, um, there's a new, okay, so I never, I'm not into like nasty shows or movies. I can't watch Saw or Scream, or not Scream. I watched first, maybe I watched one or two of the Scream movies. Anyways, I can't watch like Saw or any of those. They, I have a weak stomach, but anyways, so I've never watched Hannibal the Cannibal. Maybe I watched it on Halloween one year, but I don't think I watched very much of it. Anyways, so I guess one of the networks, NBC I think, just came out with Hannibal, is it called Hannibal or is it called Cannibal? I think it's called Hannibal. Like an actual TV show called Hannibal. And I thought, oh, well, like I kinda like these like murder mystery type shows, maybe I'll like it. So I watched the pilot on NBC on their app on my iPad and literally, okay, it's really kind of graphic and gross, just like the killing part, like the shooting, I don't know. I only got through half of the, the actual pilot. But then when the Han, Hannibal, the cannibal guy, like even though like they didn't show like killing a person and then chopping, well, I don't know, it's really gross. Anyways, he was eating meat and I, in my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's eating a person. And that literally, I got so sick to my stomach, I could not finish the show, which, I, I don't know why I would even watch it in the first place because I have such a weak stomach. Like it grossed me out that I was watching it, but then I'm like, oh, I could totally handle it. Like, come on, I'm 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 a big girl. I can handle watching. It was really gross. So I don't know how well that show's gonna do because it was making me really nauseous and sick. And that's my fail this week because I was kind of like, oh, well, maybe I'll like it. No, I hated it. I, I don't like it. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you like really gory, nasty 
things and you don't mind watching somebody that is eating and you're like, oh wow, he's eating a person. That's pretty nasty. So that was my fail. It was, ugh, it's just gross. Just really gross. Um, I don't think there was any other fails. Am I loving anything? Not really any specific music that I'm really loving. I think that's all. So I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a great week or you've had a great week and you're having a great weekend. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I wanna do my question and answer video. So leave your question down below and like put it in caps lock or something so that I can remember to like copy and paste it and put it in like my list of questions. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.